Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the fourth video in the uh, topic of acute and chronic inflammatory dermatosis, and this video will describe cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis. Cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis is an immune reaction with neutrophilic inflammation of the vessel wall. It is also named as allergic cutaneous vasculitis, leukocytoclastic vasculitis, hypersensitivity angitis. It presents as palpable purpura and uh, it can be divided into primary and secondary causes. Uh, the primary cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis has uh, got no known cause and it is it is present in about 50 percent of the cases while the secondary is associated with uh, infections such as hepatitis b and hepatitis c virus chronic diseases rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus or ulcerative colitis malignancies such as lymphoma various drugs are associated with this condition allergies and post-infectious process such as hennex and purpura. In cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis, there is deposition of the immune complexes at the site of the injury, that is the vascular wall. And uh, this injury occurs at the branch point where the turbulence is increased or the area where the venous circulation is slowed as occurs in lower extremities. So uh, there is presence of uh, antigen antibodies complex and uh, there, is, uh, there is activation of the complement and C5A it is a schematic agent and it is responsible for further recruitment of the uh, neutrophils to the uh, site and as a result there is uh, these uh, neutrophils, they degranulate and secrete uh, lysosomal enzyme in that area that is responsible for the injury to the vessel wall and there is a destruction of the endothelial cell and subsequent deposition of the various uh, neutrophilic fragment, fibrin and uh, RBCs along with these uh, antigen antibody complexes within the uh, vessel wall. Now the morphology of the cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis. Uh, the lesion of uh, this condition are multiple 2 to 4 millimeter red palpable lesions that uh, do not blanch under pressure hence it is termed as palpable purpura. Uh, these are multiple lesions and appear in the crop of the leg or at the site of pressure usually the crop of the leg area just above the ankle region uh, and uh, as we have seen in the pathogenesis it occurs in the areas where the <coughs> where the vascular flow is sluggish and uh, besides these cutaneous lesions these uh, extra cutaneous lesions are also seen and these occur in JIT joints and kidneys. Uh, the course of the lesion, the individual lesion persists for up to a month and then resolve uh, leaving behind a hyperpigmented area or atrophic scar. The recurrence is common despite uh, removal of the offending agent. Now coming to the morphological changes of cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis. There is obliteration of the vessel wall by the neutrophilic infiltration and uh, as there is damage to the endothelial cells by these uh, uh, by the lysosome <coughs> of the neutrophil there is uh, damage to the endothelium and they are difficult to <coughs> visualize. Fibrin is deposited in there and uh, due to damage there is extravasation of the erythrocyte also present that is marked by these black arrows in this picture <clears throat> there is extravasation of red blood cells uh, leukocytoclasia or destruction of the uh, of these neutrophils is also seen and uh, the dust like uh, remnants of the uh, neutrophils are seen that are marked uh, here by these uh, uh, red arrow. Then 
the collagen fiber between the affected vessels are separated by these uh, infiltrating neutrophil eosinophil and the cytoplasmic uh, dust like remnants of the these uh, leucocytoclastic neutrophils and uh, as well as there is uh, extra vegetated rbcs all these uh, elements among uh, between these uh, collagen fiber they account for palpable purpura